Podcast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. Okay, we had two reports of wind damage in Pulaski County tonight, and likely these were microbursts. Now think of these uh, branches from shrubbery here at the station as full-grown trees. A microburst, a microburst is a core of really strong winds up in the atmosphere and a storm, and it comes down and hits the trees and hits the ground. And normally, there you go, Matt Wetterston, uh, normally the damage pattern with a microburst has the trees fanning out in different directions. So that's what we had in Pulaski County, a core of very strong winds tonight, 75 to 80 miles an hour coming, hitting the ground and fanning out causing some tree da uh, damage up there as well. So just two reports, thank you, John, two reports of wind damage up that way from microbursts. But right now, no severe weather out there and only just a few showers hanging on, mainly over our southeastern counties from Marion, back down towards Kokomo, southeast of Lafayette, just a few little showers. The squall lines pulled away now and the colder weather is working its way in from the west, along with a couple of these showers that'll pivot in tonight and tomorrow and here's an idea of what to expect tomorrow night these blue counties here these are frost and freeze warnings so the cold air is moving all the way down into central texas and some of this cold air will move into our area by tomorrow night so it's going to get cold around here we're looking at a freeze to nip some of the young leaves bursting on some of the trees in our area notice with current temperatures, though, that's one of the other stories across our area. After the half inch of rain we had today from that squall line of storms, which is off to the east, 48 in Remington. It's 43 at Morocco as the cold air wraps in from the west and already down to 59 in Lafayette. Highs tomorrow, 45 to 50 degrees, uh, 45 to 50 degrees, perhaps a couple of these showers pivoting in from Iowa and Illinois, otherwise a mostly cloudy and windy day. And if we can get the clouds out of here early enough tomorrow night, lows could be as low as the upper 20s to lower 30s. So just a couple of showers lingering tonight, sharply colder, down to 40 degrees, 47 for the high tomorrow, mostly cloudy, windy, sharply colder. Again, with those uh, temperatures well below what we've had to begin April, we've had three out of seven days in the 80s, 56 on Friday, another freeze on Friday night. And again, notice Friday morning, 29 potentially, 68 on Saturday, but we warm right back up. In fact, we're in the low 80s by the early part of next week. And it looks like by Thursday and Friday of next week, we may be talking about more 